Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be implementing the fixed point iteration method into Excel. To walk through how to do this, I will be completing the following example. The problem states for us to find the leftmost root of the function's Euler's number to the power of 0.5x minus x minus 2, using the fixed point iteration method to a percent error of 5%. To begin, we first need to find our g of x functions for f of x. That is, we need to set f of x to 0 and solve for one of our x terms. As you can see here, I completed that for you, and our two potential g of x terms are e to the power of 0.5x minus 2 for g1 of x, and 2 ln of x plus 2 for g2 of x. Now, we can choose either equation here to begin solving. Sometimes both equations will work, only one will work, or sometimes neither will work. However, as I mentioned in our fixed point method convergence video, if the slope of the tangent line is greater than one in absolute terms at the root, then our fixed method will never converge. When examining our graph, it is clear that at g2 of x, the slope is rather intense around x root. Therefore, convergence with g2 of x is going to be impossible. We can validate this by trying a few starting guesses. We will always diverge away, as you can see here. Therefore, we will advance with g1 of x. Now that we have our prep work completed, let's implement fixed point iteration into Microsoft Excel. Let's begin by creating some headers to organize our information. So, let's add a column to track our iterations, a column for our current x guess at that iteration, a column where we evaluate our g of x function, and then lastly, we'll add a column to track our percent error. So, let's just firstly add in some numbers for our iteration counter and enter an initial guess as to where we think our root is located. If you are unsure what to use for an initial guess, I recommend that you check out my video on convergence of the fixed point method, for which I'll leave a link in the description down below. For this problem, I'm going to be using two as a starting guess. Now, we need to enter our g of x function here, and anywhere we see our xn variable here, we will pick our current guess of x, which is the column to the left of it. So, this is our first iteration complete. Now let's just go ahead and highlight this row and drag it down to iterate our solution. We just need to set our input x value as our output from the first iteration. We can do that by setting this cell equal to the previous output value like cell. Now, we can also add in our percent error by taking the absolute value of our current x value minus our previous x value divided by our current x guess. Then I am just going to set all these cells to percentages. And as you can see here, we have an initial percent error of 226%. Now, all we need to do is drag these rows until we see that our percent error is less than 5. Therefore, as you can see here, we can say that the x root is located at minus 1.519 with a 3.62% error. I just want to note that our initial guess in the fixed point iteration method is very, very important. So, for example, if we chose a starting guess of say 4, you can see that our algorithm diverges and our error is growing. Therefore, we will never converge to a solution. Alternatively, if we had a better guess, say minus 1, you can see that we converge to our solution much faster. I hope that this video helped your understanding of how to implement the fixed point iteration method into Microsoft Excel. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.